Good morning, ESM. I am Casey Engineering. I'm one of the new hosts here, and all you'll be starting to see me more spir sporadically, and I'll talk a little bit more about myself after news with Bella. Laney was killed and his 27-year-old son was injured from a shooting in Lysander on Cold Springs Road. The cause was between the father and son and one of their neighbors, Raymond Kratz. A woman who was with Kratz was having an affair with Delaney. The argument led to Kratz pulling out an illegal ghost handgun. The injured son is at Upstate Hospital with non-life-threatening conditions. Kratz is currently in custody and has additional charges that are pending as the police continue to investigate. Dr. Anthony Fauci recently said in a statement that we are most likely to be wearing face masks in 2022. Both Fauci and President Biden agreed that the country could return to a significant degree of normalcy, but face masks continue to linger for, for uh, blah, sorry, could possibly continue to linger a year from now. Fauci said that in order for there to be no mask, coronavirus levels would need to be so low that there is a very minimal chance that someone is exposed to an infected person. Shortly after Fauci's recent statement, the New York Department of Health released new guidelines on face coverings. The guidelines recommend that, two peop that people over the age of two wear snug-fitting masks with two to three layers of material. The guidelines are also allowing New Yorkers to be able to wear a cloth covering over a disposable mask. It is also recommended we save high-grade masks like KN95s for those with a greater risk of illness. Health Commissioner Dr. Dave A. Chokshi said in a statement, masks help us face the world and each other, but it's important that we cover up correctly. Last Wednesday, a bomb squad in Ohio was called on a report of suspicious package in Butler County. When specialists arrived upon opening the package, they discovered that it was never a bomb, but a bag full of six healthy kittens. The sheriff's office took mom, Sprinkles, and the new babies to the Animal Friends Humane Society in Hamilton County where they are healthy and happy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Students interesting, uh, interested in participating in the indoor track season uh, we are starting March 8th and through Mar April 24th. Please sign up on Family ID and make sure you can email coachstop at cstop at esmschools.org for more information and information about the virtual meeting. The senior class is ho holding a Panera fundraiser and it's happening this Wednesday, so tomorrow, um, from 4 to 8 in the Fayetteville Town Center Panera. Folks will need to show their flyers on their phones or if they're doing in-store or have the code PRFUND, so that's P-R-F-U-N-D, when ordering online. You can find the flyer on the Instagram account, and thank you for your support. The ESM weight room will be closed at 5.30 on Wednesday tomorrow. Please plan your rides accordingly so you are not staying there. If you have any questions, see Coach Esbacher. So a little about me, I am 17 year old, I'm senior for this year, so this will be the only year you really see me. You may find, if you go back in the archives, which you may see me, maybe. I did show up with a few, but I mostly have not been on air. I mostly worked in our back room with making these productions. Um, yeah, so enough about me. We can talk more about me after weather with Grayson. Today, today we will have a high of 38 and a low of 30 degrees, and today will also be breezy with snow in the morning, and into midday there will be snow that has a chance of being mixed with rain in the afternoon. We can expect to get an inch of snow 
but it will be two to four inches of snow over higher terrain. And tonight there will be a few there will be a few rain showers and snow showers north of the thruway, and there will be little accumulation. Wednesday we'll have some rain snow. Sorry. Wednesday we'll have some rain showers developing in the afternoon and turning into lake snow showers Wednesday night. And as always, I'm Grayson with your weather. All right, so a little bit more about me. I mentioned I was a 17-year-old senior, but um, I do some sports around here. Uh, for the fall season, I did cross country. Um, some people may know me from there, and I also did a uh, marching band, uh, which was really fun. I really enjoyed it. If you can get out to do music and especially participate in our music arts this year, I would, do, I would re highly recommend it. Uh, right now, I'm a part of our winter percussion program circuit. And it's very similar to our marching band program, but it, it's more of our, our front percussion, so our mallet instruments like vibes and marimba, and our, um, our outer our marching percussion, so like bass drums and snares and tenors. Uh, other than that, I'm looking to find a job, which I did finally, yay. But um, that's pretty much about me. Let's go to sports with Aiden, and yeah. In upcoming games, the boys' basketball team plays at Fulton at 7. SU men's basketball lost to Duke last night, 71-85. to Buddy Beheim led the team in points with 21. The Steelers recently announced that the head coach, Mike Tomlin, tested positive for COVID-19. I'm Aiden with your sports. All right, thank you for watching today's show. Um, it's a little bit something new for me and hopefully new for you guys. Um, just some reminders, we have some websites for our schools. Our first one is for this, which is our main archive, which is the ESM schools slash SN, which you just saw there. We do have another one, which is our, our, Spartan, new, our Spartan Express. So that's like our clothing line and something like that. But um, after that, we have, have a nice day, everyone. From me, everyone here at the morning show, have a fantastic day and stay informed. I thought it was. No, it's about no. news. Clothing line. Clothing line. I don't know. Line. You know what? It's a journalism class. Journalism. Yeah, I know. I forgot. <laughs> How come you didn't end with